Hi friends! In this video I am going to demonstrate how you can make a cute card um, out of an envelope. So here's one here and another one, just a variation. So this idea um, was inspired by a card swap I received a few years back by my friend Karina Chin. She's a fellow demonstrator here in Canada and I came across it the other day when I was going through my retired items and this is the card that Karina made. And I thought I'd like to do a variation of this using the Share What You Love products, which is part of a promotion this month. So I'm just going to jump right on in. This is an easy card to put together, and it's super fun. So this is a Fairy Vanilla envelope, and I've just sealed it. And what I'm going to do is take my paper trimmer, cut it down four and a quarter. There we go. So I'm going to set that aside. I also have a piece of So Saffron. This measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to set that aside. I'll show you what I've got for the bits and pieces first. This is a piece of the um, Share What You Love Designer Series paper that I've cut down to measure one and a half by four and three eighths. This uh, Grapefruit Grove cardstock, I ran through the Big Shot using this die from the Easter Medallion Thinlets dies. So that's what I did there. What else? Okay, mint macaron. This is a piece of scrap um, mint macaron cardstock. And I took my scoring tool and I just scored down the center. And I'll show you why. I'm taking my scallop circle punch. This is the one and one eighths. And I'm lining that score line right up in the center of my punch because I am going to want to fold it over. So it's just, it makes it a lot easier. I'm gonna take my um, Stampin' Trimmer again and take this flower because I also want to fold this in half. So I'm lining up the two tips in the track and the light gray is my scoring tool. So I'm just gonna go back and forth and nice crisp fold. So I'm gonna set that aside. Here is a, another piece of Garden Grove. This measures three quarters um, of an inch by four and three eighths. So this piece I'm going to punch out with my decorative ribbon punch. So I'm just lining that up, eyeballing it, trying to keep the design the same on each side. Punch down, slide it over, and lining it up. There we go. And finish it off here. Perfect. I'm going to take my snail, put some across the bottom of that designer series paper, and just line that strip right underneath it. Some more snow and that I'm going to put on near the top so you want to make sure you've got the opening on the top because the last card I made I accidentally had the opening here not what I was going for there we go this paper is gorgeous by the way there's 24 sheets um, in the package it's specialty designer series paper because some of it is shimmery and I've already gone through an entire pack. Um, it is that gorgeous. Okay. So now I'm taking the Love What You Do stamp set. And I'm taking, I'm lucky to have you as a friend. Put that on my block. Taking my Rich Razzleberry. And stamp it down. It's a little bit crooked, but that's all right. And now for the flowers. Take another block. And I'm inking it up with my black memento. And I'm going to stamp it down right there. Squeezing the lid of my Grapefruit Grove. 
and I'm going to take my aqua painter and color in those flowers. So I'm adding some more of that grapefruit grove down near the bottom so it's a little bit darker, the bottom of the flower. Okay, I've got my So Saffron ink pad. Make sure my aqua painter is clean and that I have water coming out. I'm going into that So Saffron and now I'm going back on top of the flower just so that I can um, kind of make it two-tone with that grapefruit grove and So Saffron. Looks very nice. Now I'm taking my Tranquil Tide, putting a little bit on my Aqua Painter and I'm just going to pull that down the stems and the leaves. Well there's not really leaves on but these little bits here. There we go. Now I'm taking my Clear Wink of Stella and I'm going to go on top of those flowers. And I'm also going to add some Wink of Stella to these flowers up here on the designer series paper as well. There. Okay. So that part is done. I'm going to grab my So Saffron piece. This measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And now I'm taking this image right here. And I'm going to use my Grapefruit Grove and I'm just going to stamp it randomly across the bottom. Just like that. Just add a pretty design. I actually think I'm going to do that on both sides. Very pretty. All right, before I do any more stamping, I want to add on my, um, my flower here. So to do that, I'm actually gonna use my liquid glue. Put a little bit in there. And that's just gonna go right on the top. I really love the liquid glue. It dries really, really fast and it's really secure. Okay. My scallop circle right in the center. I'm just going to hold that for a second. Put my pin back in my glue. That stops it from sealing itself shut. So now I want to punch a circle for the ribbon. So you could use any handheld circle punch. I'm using my Cropodile. Uh, Stampin' Up! used to sell these years ago, um, and I love mine. I still use mine all the time. All right, look at this beautiful Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon. Everything that I'm showing you right now is going to be in our new 2018 annual catalog. During the month of May, of course, you can purchase what I'm demonstrating here in our Share What You Love promotion. This ribbon is part of that package, and it's beautiful. So what I'm going to do is just put it right through the hole, just like that. And then I'm going to show you kind of a fun way to tie a knot. This is the front. You want the front facing down. Then you're going to take the ribbon that's in the back and wrap it around and under the ribbon in the front. So I'm just holding this down on the placemat so it's easier for you to see. And then this bit here is going to go through there. So let me show you. So this piece, right? This piece going under. Because the velvet is only on one side of the ribbon, I'm making sure that the velvet is facing towards the front and that this is the back. And then what I'm going to do is hold this piece down and pull this. And then I'm going to pull this one and hold it down again. And you just want to pull that until it's tight. And then flip it over and then you'll see there's a nice knot. And then you just trim it up. Alright. It's a pretty. 
So now I'm going to stamp our sentiment. I'm using the word thank you. And I did a previous video where I shared that I actually cut this stamp into two pieces. Just because it gives me a little more versatility. I'm taking my Rich Razzleberry again. Ink that up. And then grab my U. Ink that up. So there's the inside of my card and then I take my little envelope piece and this will slide right in just like that isn't that pretty so here are the other ones that I did earlier this one was using the pretty label punch but I actually didn't like it a whole lot and I got some extra glue there so I'll have to fix that up um, and I used a different design on the designer series paper and some different colors for the the trim but I actually prefer this one because I like having this blue in there. So I love this layout. So I hope you give that a whirl and I hope you enjoy making these and I appreciate you watching. Happy stamping!